So folks, we're here at the Board Bia stand in Ploughing 2022 and we're joined by Board Bia's Meat and Livestock Director, Joe Burke. Joe, tell us a little bit about what you do at Board Bia. Thanks, Brefney. Yeah, as you said, um, my title is um, I look after meat and livestock. I'm head of the meat and livestock team. Um, so that involves, I suppose, mainly working with our overseas colleagues and coordinating our promotional activities on behalf of the sectors. Um, and I suppose a lot of liaising with our client companies as well, our main meat companies, in order to establish their priorities and decide, well, which are the, the key customers that we want to try and promote with. And obviously it's all about trying to grow the preference and the awareness um, that is there for Irish meat. Um, and obviously to try and get the highest possible returns from the markets. In other words, to, I suppose, generate that premium um, out there in those, in those key export markets. We're mainly talking about export products really for most of our sectors because we're so reliant on exports. Yeah. And Joe, maybe tell us a little bit about what trends are you seeing in the market for Irish beef products currently? Yeah, so obviously it has been, albeit a challenging period with the higher costs, but thankfully it has also been a positive one in that the returns at farm level uh, for cattle this year, Brefney, have been 20% higher than last year. On average for the year to date, cattle prices sit at about 4.90 a kilo, excluding VAT. Um, so, as I said, a 20% improvement on last year's levels. Um, and so, yeah, that obviously represents a, a strong performance. Um, but out there in the markets, there are also some challenges. And one of those would be that at consumer level, consumers are also experiencing um, the impact of inflation in terms of their own grocery spend and their own purchases, whether it be energy costs, whether it be uh, the inflation of, of their food costs. So that is also leading to some um, reduction in the amount of, of, of product being sold and, and uh, particularly at retail level. On average, the volume of beef that has been purchased, for example, in the UK retail um, market is down about 9% over the last 12 weeks up to the middle of August. Um, and that has coincided with a price increase, an average increase in price of about 10% as well. So there is, while, you know, thankfully the prices are higher, um, there is that caution or, or that, 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 that slight um, maybe uh, word of, of, of caution, I suppose, in the back of our minds that, uh, you know, consumers are feeling the pinch and they are sp spending, uh, it, I suppose uh, there, it, it's impacted on their spending and on their purchasing habits. And Joe, is the dependency on the UK market for Irish beef still as big as ever or are there new markets growing for Irish beef produce? Yeah, so as a result of, I suppose, the higher kill and the higher production, our overall volume of exports has increased so far this year. Um, and in fact, the the overall value of exports even more significantly is up by 29% as a result of the higher prices combined with more production. Um, and in fact, we've actually sent an, our exports into the UK by value are actually running 36% higher. So actually our reliance or our exports to the UK are even higher than they have been for the last few years. However, our exports into continental Europe are also up by a similar 30% in value terms and in particular our exports for example into France and that's mainly I suppose manufacturing meat, four quarter, product intended for mince and manufacture, um, that is actually up by over 50%, it's up really really strongly. Um, other markets to have increased strongly would be our key priority markets of Italy, Netherlands and Germany and you know they have seen strong strong increases of between 20 and 30% each. And then looking into next year, Joe, how is supply, or have we any forecasts on the supply of beef and beef cattle into next year? So here in Ireland, we would anticipate that our supplies will remain strong. So far this year, we've seen about an extra 100,000 cattle slaughtered, and there'll probably be some additional cattle coming on stream between now and the year end, probably looking at another 20 to 30,000 between now and the year end. For next year, it's likely that 
we won't see the same big surge on you know that there may be a few less cattle around next year we did of course see a very strong kill of cull cows this year mightn't be just as many of them around uh, next year depending on what the input cost situation is obviously we're mindful that the cost of both concentrate feed fertilizer contractor charges they have all increased significantly um, and that has influenced the number of cull cows coming on stream as well as of course it wasn't a great grass year Breffney as we know some farmers were maybe under a bit of pressure to sell cattle earlier than they normally would do so those factors will still be relevant next year but i suppose one thing with another we have seen a recovery in the number of animals being exported live um, particularly of calves so that may mean that we'll have a few less cattle uh, in terms of prime cattle available being finished for slaughter next year we'll still relatively speaking year on year have a, a high kill it won't be you know, much below the 1.8 million that we're likely to have this year. In a European context though, because of the very high production costs, it's likely that European beef production will fall. So thankfully that means that we, I suppose as grass-based beef producers, our production costs aren't under as much pressure. And I know that, the, you know, farmers are feeling the pinch. They have seen their costs rise significantly. But if you were to compare that with a beef producer in say Italy or in France, who are reliant on feeding animals throughout the year indoors. We're thankfully in a better position than them in terms of being more competitive um, and have low, having lower production costs. And finally, Joe, um, are we seeing much of an interest in uh, organic beef produce from Ireland, from overseas markets? Yeah, there is a really strong interest, all right, Breffney, certainly. And I suppose heretofore, the bottleneck has tended to be our production, that we only have a certain amount. In total, um, there is about 11,500 organic prime cattle slaughtered in Ireland currently per year. Um, there is certainly a market for more than that. A lot of that production is actually going to some of the same customers that are buying conventional Irish beef and that obviously the organic is sold as a premium product um, and it's going into markets like Germany, some into the Netherlands, a small amount into the UK. It tends to be more focused on those premium continental markets and definitely we would see strong scope there to increase that. I know that there are targets nationally um, for organic production to hopefully treble over the next few years and you know given the level of supports that are there and incentives hopefully that can grow gradually um, you know certainly in the next few years we'd hope that you know we'll be able to see uh, more organic cattle being uh, produced and finished and, and uh, that there will be a, a strong return and a strong premium for that product. Joe thank you very much for joining us on the live stream. Thanks Breffney talk to you soon.